The de Havilland Tiger Moth is a 1930s biplane designed by Geoffrey de Havilland and was operated by the Royal Air Force and others as a primary trainer. We were lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time to go for a flight in a pair of these wonderful old planes recently. I'd been sipping on a coffee at the Riverstone Cafe in Bryag that morning and whilst looking around I saw a poster on the window of the cafe. Apparently there was a vintage machinery rally being held at the Hayfield Recreation Reserve that day. I pointed it out to my wife Marilyn who suggested we go, so we did. The rally was a two day event and we arrived on the second day but there was still much to see and do. We wandered about looking at ancient machines huffing and puffing around a gravel track. There were displays of stationary engines which thumped and rattled as they generated electricity or pumped water and sawed massive logs up. Over the loudspeaker we heard a call for people interested in going for a short flight over Hayfield and a tiger moth. Apparently they were willing to haggle over the prices so off we went and haggled and soon we were driving to a paddock a little north of Rosedale and some 20 odd kilometres from Hayfield. On arrival we saw a couple of old cars, the owners of which had driven there to take some photos of the cars with the planes and had then decided to go for a flight whilst they were there. We arrived as they landed. Soon it was our turn. We kitted up, climbed in and soon we were in the air. It was magnificent bumping down the paddock, lining up for takeoff, and then watching as the dials and gauges bumped and flickered in the cockpit and the engine roared and then off we went. I thoroughly enjoyed the flight, but for Marilyn, the flight was an emotional experience. The sheer joy and beauty of being up in an ancient aeroplane was almost overwhelming. Gliding over the country below with the mountains looming in the foreground, the animals, the farms, the people and the vehicles below looked toy-like. The sun was shining pickly through a cloud of smoke generated by someone burning off far beyond the hills. The flight was an experience not to be missed.